Hey guys, welcome back to Tales. Didn't expect them to talk so quickly. Just to give you guys a quick, like, you know, inside look into what happens on my, the important news. The very, very important news that I receive on my uh, Twitter. Like, you know, the very high caliber people of what I follow and do on Twitter. Uh, McDonald's is putting chocolate on their fries in Japan. You know that? It totally so, uh, gets the job done. That spinny mist thing. It's the wind trial after all. You guys just said Dezel, that. You realize she's not going to stop unless you say something else, right? Oh. <laughs> I suppose we're gonna hear that again. Oh, hello. Hello. This is over. This is over. This is over. Fire. Fire. The fire is the fire is the best one. There's just no, there's just no comparison to the flames. There's no way, there is no better way to purify than the fires. Uh, yeah. So, how do you guys feel about putting chocolate on your on your fries? Let me tell your fortune. Please pick one. Okay. No thanks. Choosing not to choose means you're a short fuse type. That's fortune telling. Apparently. I think that is weird. Uh, I know, but I I know. I need it. But what kind? Are they like covered in chocolate, which is like crap, or are they just like drizzling melted chocolate over it? That drizzling melted chocolate over it, I am down. I am down for anything covered in drizzled chocolate. You know what I mean? That shit is tasty. It's fattening and it will probably kill you. But it's tasty. I am. Um, uh, we went to uh, Cadbury's World, I think it is, in Birmingham. Uh, a few years ago. I, I went with uh, my, sis my sister and my brother. And we. Are at the, right at the end. Right at the end of the uh, like little tour. Oh, fuck. Um. Oh, I see. I get it. Hang on. Uh, how did we get that one up? We It was this one, right? I think it was this one. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, we went to a uh, Cadbury's World, and we... You, know, you walk around, and to be fair, it's actually kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. It's a nice little fun day out if you're... A, yeah, if you're in Birmingham or whatever, maybe a little day trip, if it's not too long of a drive, it's probably worth going, I would say. Uh, but Never this was years ago, mind you. They've probably changed it dramatically by now. It spins the mist, after all. Whoa, Dazzle! You actually put some effort into it. Good job! <laughs> Don't think about it too much. Just go with the flow. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, what they did, right at the end, Right at the end, they give you a choice of, like, a cup full of something. And I chose marshmallows, my brother chose nuts, you know, stuff like that. And they then drench it. Like, they fill the cup up with, m with just, just this melted chocolate. And it is the tastiest thing in the fucking universe. It is so good. It The entire time you're eating it, you feel like you're gonna die. Okay. Like literally the entire time, you feel like you are gonna suffer. Like that, surely it cannot be good for you. And some form of pain will ensue afterwards. No pain happens, though. So you know, don't worry. But it's really, really delicious. It's really good. I don't know who, why, what weapon we collected. Can't find it. Uh, items, new. Oh, it's a dagger. That's why we couldn't find it. Uh, which one is the crapper one? This one. Hmm. Oh, that one's actually a lot better. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. She doesn't use arts, so hell yeah. Uh, actually, she probably does. Arts probably counts all arts, not just magicals. 
magical arts. Uh, this is not helping us, is it? We need to figure out how to lower that door. In fact, we want the doors lower. By the looks of things, we want that one to be lowered. Or is that okay? No, we want that far one. We want the very far one to be lowered. That one, that one doesn't matter. This one needs to be lowered in the far one by the looks of things. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, that allows us to go that way. Oh, I see, the door's there. Oh, okay, so we just need to lower this one. Okay, let's try and lower that one. Uh, but yeah, it is so delicious, and it is worth going just for that, if I'm honest. So if McDonald's, if it's just drenched, if it's just chips drenched in, like, hot melted chocolate, I am down for that. It's probably going to kill you. It's That's going to be covered, because it's McDonald's, right? So it's going to be deep fried chips covered in chocolate. And that and those chips are also going to be covered in salt. So that's... Rob, it's gonna be pretty delicious, but pretty bad for you. I imagine that's gonna be really, really bad. What did that do? That wasn't what we wanted at all, was it? We want we want that one down. How do we get that one down? Wait, do we want this one? There, yeah, this one we want to keep down. Oh, shit in Harpy. Right, I should have something chocolate. -y. I shouldn't really. It's really bad for you. It's really unhealthy. But it's, um, it is good. Like, fondue is quite popular, isn't it? But I've never, I don't think I've ever really done Fondue. I've done fondue with marshmallows, but that's not fondue, is it? That's more like schmores or whatever. Is it called schmores? I think fondue is cheese related as well. Uh, I don't know. Fondue is fancy. And I'm not fancy, so. Let me know. Do you guys eat fondue? I'm interested. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested in fondue. You know, I think we need to get through here. Let's up this one again. And then we will head upwards through that one. And see where that lead leads us. That is my current plan. And maybe that will help us somehow, some way, get through to the top floor. And... It has a thing up here, but it has two things. But is it the thing we want? Oh, crappy balls. Oh, hello, gargoyle. Moving statue. It's just an imitation. But its attacks are the real deal. Well, that's fine. I don't really care if it's the real deal or not. There we go. Get some fire. We just need to swap her out, really, seriously now. We will swap her out right now. I showed them. Uh, sorry, Edna. We're swapping you out for Lila. That makes sense, right? Did we hit this thing? I don't think we did. That opens that one. What did that do? It reveals a chest. Which is across there. Which means we now need to open that door. Which I'm assuming is this one. That's fine. Alright, we need to open that door. Now where's... Where is that one being opened? Um, possibly this one? Aha! Fantastic! Oh, hello, dragon friend. Please leave me alone. I don't really wish to fight you right now. Uh, this guy, fuck it. Chest has been opened. Let's not let any other careless adventurer to manage to get this far to have that apple gel. And this way, which leads us down, and then we need to go across and then up.
Okay. And I think, I think that's the puzzle over. But do not uh, quote me. Because no, no, look, we'll have like, this will be the halfway mark. Pick something up. Oh, thanks. Save point, which is very good. We will save the hell out of this. Yes, please. And head through here. Are we going to find ourselves a headless horseman? A Dullahan? Welcome, oh. young shepherd. What's up, bro? It has been some time, Shepherd Wardell. Oh, this guy's a little shepherd too. Has, Lila. Is this Seraph a shepherd? I was several hundred years ago. So just like Exio, huh? Enough chit chat. This isn't what we're here for. I assumed as much. Young Seraph of Wind. Dezel. Dezel, this tower in and of itself constitutes the trial. In other words, once you reach its top, you have cleared it. The rest depends on how I feel about you then. Sounds like there's a catch. I bet it has something to do with the sacrifices and the hellion we met at the entrance. Hmm. A sharp observation indeed. Probably. Now then, head on up to the platform at the top. There shall I see your metal for myself, O oh young shepherd and his friends. By showing us the metal, you mean legit just being getting to the top and dealing with shit. Dealing with uh, Dullahan, right? If that's the case, let's switch over right now. I'll have Dezel and you have Lila Rose to start this fight off. Dullahan probably should be weak to fire, at the very least. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Dullahan is the... Uh, oh, where's Barbara? Where's Brenna? Um, Dullahan is the headless giant creatures you can find in Final Fantasy XIV. I would say I'd put a picture of him up on the screen, but I, I'll forget, so... We're here... Oh shit, not a fucking another one. Do not jump off. Someone's there. Where's that headless hellion? Hang on! Get away from me! Why are you looking to make a sacrifice of yourself? I have to die. There's no other way. No other way for what? I killed someone. The man who was exploiting my family. Okay. For that reason. People who didn't even know us would curse at our family, throw rocks at us. I only did what I did to preserve my family's happiness, but it's brought nothing but more pain. The legends say that if I throw myself from here as a sacrifice to the gods, then I might have a chance of absolving myself and of restoring my honor. Just move away. It is my only hope for salvation. No. If the prospect of life promises nothing but suffering, then better I die. Enough. Let her go, Saray. What? She regrets dirtying her hands for the sake of her family. Seeking restoration of her honor. All she wants is someone's approval. She doesn't even think that she's to blame. What's gotten into you, Dezel? Nothing. A Hellion's domain. Is she the Dulahan? Oh no, here comes the Dulahan. Running on air, apparently. An interesting power for the Dulahan to have. For me this time? Let's leave it to them, Edna. Dessel? You want to die? Then why are you hanging on so tight? <laughs> she can't see him, right? So she's like just floating right Dessel. now? Freak. 
He has no eyes. Here's the headlessness. There are plenty of times when I've wondered if I truly did the right thing. We all have. That feeling of loneliness, it can drive you crazy. But the idea that sacrificing yourself will erase your sins, it's a fallacy. Killing yourself means nothing to the Seraphim. But I... You worked so hard to protect your family. Do you want to leave them all alone? For the sake of a sacrifice that has no meaning at all? <laughs> Keep struggling. That's the fate of all with blood on their hands. I know I sound pretentious, but my friends tell me I need to stop trying to bear everything by myself, too. We all need our families. If you work together, I'm sure you'll find some way out. I'll try. But your trial is not over. That's right. Hmm. Had those horsemen time. We still gotta stop him. Alright, we go behind. That smash it from behind. I would think you're gonna use you're gonna use Mikleo, Rose, and that's fine. I would have thought that. Well, you'd be fucking dead already at this rate. Uh, let's join Desel and uh, maybe try and get some of its attention away from Rose. Oh no, she's merged now, so our HP shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we can actually separate ourselves right now. Oh wow, that, that hurt. Let's get a heal off. Just make sure we're okay. Uh, Dazzle's heal heals Rose. Interesting. Let's try again. This time we'll be nice and close to her, so we get some as well, shall we? Oh, good. Gargoyles join in this fight, didn't they? Nice. It's fine. Dezel's got some AoEs. Besides the HBO, so it's alright. But I guess they're all technically kind of AoE. AoE? Is that like... Is that a word? Alright, we need some more juice. Let's uh, block for a second. Let's see if we skip to Rose and give us a heal. Soul Resonance! Sleeping Dragon! Surfing the water! Violent Project Torrent Speed! Dark Star! Have we not hit enough of the uh, target yet for us to get our ultimate move and then like destroy this shit? Is Dezel? No? No ultimate move from Dezel? Oh, you got a freaking harpy joining the back. Oh, joining the party over there. Here goes! Go! Go! Uh, we've ready ran out of juice, we can't keep moving, so it's block. Oh, thank you very- Really? <laughs> Could've used that on the, uh, guy right now, but no, it's fine. We've got the level up, 7,000 EXP, holy balls, that's a lot. That is a lot of juice. That helped everybody up. So this is what became of all those sacrifices. A warped idol, born of a yep, warped pretty much. You're gonna be all right. Can you stand up? Are you done now? Um, are you the the shepherd? I'm called Saray. Yes, I'm the shepherd. The gods. Yes, I mean, I'm amazing. Are the seraphim with you? Yes, they are. Yes, a wind seraph accompanying me named Dezel is the one that saved your life. Hey, keep me out of this. Oh, th thank you so much. Seraph Dazzle, really, truly, thank you, thank you. I, I promise that I will live bravely from now on. I'll look in my soul and find a way to believe in myself. <laughs> Aw, he's embarrassed. <laughs> we still have a bit more business here. Think you can get back down by yourself? Yes, I'll be fine. Yeah, no, we have business I'll to have do here. You should not be here. To town. Yeah, good idea. Oh, and she's gonna get the patrol guard that we saw outside. Convenient. Somehow it all worked out. Right then, that was lovely, lovely and happy. Now let's talk to the uh, the old seraph, uh, the old you shepherd, even. Not only your strength, but your spirit and bonds as well. 
you are more than qualified to receive the spiritual power of wind. Nice. You speak of spirit? Bonds? <laughs> Surely you have noticed, Dezel, that which is attached to your being at this very moment. It is not something that you should deny. His hat? You felt the voices of your companions and acted of your own will without any need for words. Are we done with this yet? Get it over with. Do you have something against developing true friendships? Why? There's something very important that I have to do. You should have picked up on that by now. And it is with true friendship that many obstacles may be surmounted. That you have reached this shrine, overcome the trial, and now stand here at this very altar serves as testament of that fact. <sighs> now then, let us offer a prayer. To the young wind seraph, and also to the young shepherd, what awaits you on the We've never had We've had to do two prayers in a row where beforehand we didn't have to do prayers. Endless possibilities. We learned it like mid fight. The guiding light that will lead you safely to the end of your journey. Yes. Light, huh? I sat. There we go. So then, Shepherd Soray, may the light shine always on your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Wardell. How you feeling? Okay? Yeah. Hmm? I just wanted to thank you. Huh? Dezel, you mustn't push yourself too hard. <sighs> hey, at least you got to do something out there. There's no need to stay here. Let's go. <sighs> Are you all right? The power isn't affecting you, is it? I'm fine, but thanks for worrying about me. We've obtained all four spiritual powers. Think we're ready for Heldolf? Well... Mm. No way to tell until we try, right? Yeah, but first, we gotta track him down. How? He hasn't exactly been mailing us postcards. We know where he was. Why not start there? The battlefield. Works for me. Aye. Battlefield. Are we really chasing after Heldorf now? No fucking way are we chasing after Heldorf now. Holy shit, this is fucking what I wanted. I've been wanting to stab this guy in the face for ages. Oh my lord, I'm so excited. Okay, come on. Let's just jump off. Jump off. Sacrifice to the gods. We can't. It's actually a good thing that we can't, because if we died I would have been fucking furious. I would have been furious if we actually died. Okay, that's fine. Let us return downwards and use the teleport to get out of here. At least we know where we're going. Head to the western, western government where Heldarf was. All right. At least that's a sound direction of which we know where to go. I don't know really know how we're going to get there. I suppose we can just teleport right there, I guess. So that'll probably be easier. Alright. I'm going to save it here. Thank you so much for watching. We're back inside the white castle, whatever it is. Uh, oh, here you go. I'll let you, you listen to this. And points. I'll see you guys Exploring ruins is all next well time. Good, but you have Bye -bye. to be careful when getting sidetracked like that. Really? If you don't look properly at where you're going, you might turn the corner and bump into someone. That's when you gotta use that fancy footwork of yours. Take a quick back step. Actually, Rose, it would be most appropriate to sidestep in that situation. Yeah, yeah. And then, if you could coordinate it with other battle actions, then you could easily increase the stun rate. That'd be a pretty sad scenario for whoever you bump.